We all know by now that the TikTok creativity program is by far one of the best ways to make passive income online in 2024. All you need to do is find a niche, create content that's over one minute, and post it. Accounts like these are making tens of thousands of dollars each month posting in their niches. Now, the only issue is that these niches are highly saturated, with hundreds of accounts starting up in these niches every day. This means that if you posted in these niches, you'd have to compete with all of these other accounts in order to go viral. This is why I've decided to create this video, to showcase a viral niche that's also simultaneously extremely untapped. The niche that I am about to show is one of the best niches to make money with on TikTok in 2024. What's more is that we can automate the process with AI so that we never run out of video ideas. I'll now play you an example of a video in this niche, and then I'll explain how you can create this content yourself for free. Ever seen a church that's been under construction for over 100 years? Welcome to La Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, a masterpiece that's still a work in progress designed by the legendary architect Antoni Gaudi. All right, this niche is basically a top five list with these cinematic shots thrown on top of it. Pretty simple, right? Now, before we start creating this sort of content, you need to make sure that you have a TikTok account that is eligible for the creativity program. If you're inside these regions, you'll be fine. If you are outside the regions, don't worry. I have accounts with the program for sale in this video's description. With that out of the way, we can now begin the process of creating these videos. The first thing we're gonna need is the top five list of the famous landmarks. And for this, we're gonna use ChatGPT to help us out. Head to ChatGPT, and I'm firstly going to ask it for a list of the most visited landmarks in the world. You can use this list to generate multiple part series of these sort of videos, but I'm just gonna stick with the top five for this video's example. Next, I'm gonna paste in this prompt that I'll leave in this video's comments but you basically input five of those landmarks and the AI will generate a top five list that reaches one minute when read out. After a few changes, the script that the AI has given us looks pretty good, so I'm gonna copy it. We now need to turn this script into a voiceover for our video. For this process, I'm gonna use Eleven Labs as it's one of the best AI voice generation tools out there right now. Now, while Eleven Labs is free, it does have a certain character limit until you have to pay. However, if you use the link in this video's description, you can get loads more characters for only a dollar. Once you're on Eleven Labs through this description's link, you want to hit this drop-down button to select a voice. Adam is the voice that's most commonly used on TikTok, so I'm going to go with that one. Now the next thing we want to do is paste in the script that ChatGPT generated for us. Hopefully you should have more than 950 characters, which means this voiceover should be over one minute. Finally, go ahead and hit create, and the AI will start generating our voiceover. Once your voiceover is finished, download it, and we can move over to the next step. The next thing that I'll demonstrate in this video is getting this 360 panoramic view of the different landmarks that I showed in the example video at the start of this video. In order to do this, we're going to use a program called Google Earth Studio, as that's how all the other accounts generate these 360 videos. Head to Google Earth Studio, this is what the website looks like. In the top right, you want to hit Try Earth Studio in order to get started. Next, you'll be prompted to fill in some details in order to sign up. Just enter your name and such, and they should approve you straight away. Once you've been approved, you should be able to come to this screen, which is where we're going to create our project. You firstly want to start by hitting this green drop down and selecting quick starts. It'll now give you all these preset zoom options. We want to hit this arrow on the right and then select the fly to and orbit option. On the next page, you'll then be prompted to enter where you want to focus on. As the Eiffel Tower is first on our list, I'm going to enter that. Now you can see that our 360 video is already partly generated. The problem is it's quite zoomed in and doesn't really showcase the whole tower. In order to fix this problem, I'm gonna change this first slider so that the camera is positioned a lot higher so that we can see the top of the tower. You can also play around with the other sliders to change things like camera angle. Once you're happy with how it looks, head to the next page. Here we want to enter how long we want our render to last. As our voiceover was one minute 30 and we have five different renders to do, I'm gonna make sure these renders last for 18 seconds. Once that's entered, hit the tick. You should now be on this screen. It's here that we want to edit our video to be in the TikTok format. To do this, head to file in the top left and then select project settings. Firstly, 
Hit this little chain icon to unlink these values here. Next, you want to type 1080 in the first box and 1920 in the second box. This will make your video into a 16x9 video, which is perfect for TikTok. Next, hit Done. The final step is to hit Render in the top right to create our video. On this next screen, you want to give it a name and then hit Submit. Now it does take a minute or two for your video to be rendered, but when it's done, in order to find it, you want to hit Animation in the top left and then cloud renders. On the next screen, you should see your render and also this button, which you can press to download your video. All right, sweet. That's how you create the render. Now, I'm not gonna showcase it in this video to save time, but you wanna repeat that process for every landmark that you're gonna showcase in your video. So, we've now got everything for our video, so we're gonna put it all together in CapCut. CapCut is a free editing software that I personally use for all my videos. Once you are on CapCut and have hit New Project, you want to start by firstly dragging your voiceover onto the timeline. Now the problem with Eleven Labs is that it leaves a lot of dead air like this, which lowers retention. So you want to start by zooming in on this dead air and hitting B on your keyboard. Now click either side and then hit A and then delete in order to remove it. You want to do this for your whole voiceover, as this will significantly increase your retention as no one wants to sit there and listen to nothing, especially not on a fast-paced platform like TikTok. Once that's done, we now want to add our renders. Drag them onto the timeline, and make sure the right render matches the right bit of your voiceover. You may need to trim certain renders in order to fit everything in, but you should be left with a timeline like this. In order to make this video look more professional, we're just going to add some basic transitions into our timeline. Head to the top left of CapCut and select Transitions. Next, you should be met with a list of all these different transitions. This part is super easy. Just drag the transitions in and place them where two different renders meet just like this. Our video is really coming together now. The next thing that's crucial for a viral video is some engaging captions. Thankfully for us, we can auto-generate these with CapCut. Head to text in the top left and then hit Auto Captions. Make sure the language is set to English and hit Generate. It'll take a second, but CapCut should leave us with these captions. They're okay, but we can make them better. To begin, we want to start by dragging them to the center of our screen like so. Now we're going to customize them. Head to the top right, and firstly, you want to select a font you like. Try and remember the font name as you want to use the same one in all your videos. Next. Scroll down and tick the boxes next to stroke and shadow in order to give our text a bit of depth. There's one more step we need to do. Head to animation in the top right and then to captions. Find an animation that you like and that you think will be engaging throughout your video. Now, we do still have to add music, but I recommend you do this by adding a sound when you post to TikTok. So, our video should be done now. So hit export in the top right to export it. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you're serious about making money from TikTok, join my Discord in the description. That's all for today's video. Bye.